We ain't even supposed to desire the day of the Lord. This is not going to be a pretty day. All iniquity will be purged on sight. Get up this world, girl. Yeah. We wasn't meant to stay down forever. Yeah, we took a heavy blow, but we gotta shake it off and do work. Work for them, y'all should all the children of light are manifest. For a be of the light, believe in the light, be brilliant and bright. For we are not of the night, but the day. But the shine great, broad destruction, and now it's straight. Uh. A chosen generation of priesthood, a holy, gracious nation, peculiar people who brought forth praises. Before the Hebrew Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Right. These other nations are your enemies. They will, con and they are up under you. You are the best thing that ever walked the face of this earth. Right. You are not niggas. You ain't no wetbacks. And no damn Indians, man. We are the Hebrew Israelites, man. Once again, we, we coming with thus saith the Lord. We, we're not bringing our own vain opinions and thoughts. We come straight out the Holy King James Version Bible, man. Saying that, we're going to uh, turn it over to the brother. Shalom, my, shalom, my people, on God's Sabbath day. All praises to the Most High for bringing us together. And all praises to the Most High for giving us the strength and the uh, courage to come out here on this Sabbath day and put out this word and edify our people. Right. Wake up that sleeping giant out here. Because these other nations know that once we wake up, their time is up. We're going to start off with John 8.32, huh? All praise to the Most High. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make ye free. The only thing that's going to make you free is the truth. We have to worship and serve the Most High God and come to his truth. Psalms 119, 142. But we have to know what the laws and statutes are that God gave only the children of Israel. The laws were not given to all nations. The laws were only given to the children of Israel, you so-called so -called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are not African Americans. We're not African, period. The Africans are the ones that sold you into slavery. Right. Yeah. So, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. John 8, 32 says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The Bible says, you shall know the law, and the only thing that's going to make you free is this law. Free from bondage of slavery. Free from the bondage of all these fake doctrine. Christianity. All these lies of Christianity. All these lies of Buddhism. Muslims. We ain't Muslims. That's Ishmael. We're not from Arabia. You cannot do as you will. We must follow God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's why we're on the bottom now as a people. Today is God's seventh day. Exodus 28. Today is God's seventh day. Six days shall I work. On that Sabbath day, it's this holy day of God's rest. We're supposed to be resting today. These laws are not done away with. And you wonder why we're on the bottom of society, because God is punishing us as a people. We're supposed to be on the top. Go ahead, Art. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. And it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy maid servant, or thy manservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. All praise to the Most High God. Today is God's Sabbath day. We're not supposed to be buying, selling, or doing anything. Look at that. Exodus 20 and 20 out. God only gave a Sabbath to the children of Israel. No other nations. That's why these so-called, that's why these, the so-called white man and so-called Jesus Christ, which is a white man, whose real name is Caesar Borgia, right. they go to church on Sunday. They worship the sun god, which is the devil. The white man is the damn devil the Bible speaks of. Right. We don't follow them. Yeah, I'm right. 
We follow the Most High God that created heaven, earth, and the, and the planets, and the universe that created everything. That's right. Go ahead, though. Exodus chapter 20, verse 20. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, God, for God is come to prove you, and that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. Sin not. Yeah. All praise to the Most High God. We are to come out to these laws, statutes, and commandments because, hold on, first off, first off. If I ask everybody out here, do they love God? How many people out here love God? How many people out here love the Most High God? Everybody. What is the love of God? You know what I want. Everybody say they love God. But the word love is an action word. Love is action. If I tell my wife I love her and I take her nowhere and do nothing with her, that's not showing her that I love her. The word love is an action word. We have to show and prove. Right, right, Go ahead, right, right. This is how God says you show him that you love him. Bring it out. 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandment. Bring it out again. I don't think they heard you. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. The love of God is by keeping his commandments. Right. The love of God is not, the fourth commandment is keep the Sabbath holy. Right. I see a lot of people out here with beer, bottles, and they, whatever, spending on God's Sabbath day. You breaking the Sabbath. The love of God is to keep his commandments. Look at that. First John chapter four, I mean John chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. So most high God said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Now we're finna go over a couple of these commandments that are in the Bible. Numbers 15, 38, huh? No, matter of fact, John 5 and 16. We're finna go over a couple of these commandments that we must do. To show the most high God that we love him. Go ahead, huh? John chapter 15. Wait, verse, I mean, John chapter 5, verse 15. The man departed. Did you say 5, 15? Oh, first John. Is yeah, first John? John? No, Matthew, Matthew 5, 16. All praise to the most high God. In order, to, in order for us to love God, we must keep these commandments. And these commandments are not grievous. The word grievous means it's not hard. It's not hard to not eat pork. It's not hard to not eat crab, shrimp, lobster. Those are some laws that God told us that we must follow. Do y'all know what a crab is? A crab is a nasty, dirty, filthy animal that's on the bottom of the damn ocean. Right. That the Most High God used to clean the ocean. That's where the crab and the lobster is. They are bottom dwellers. It's the reason our people are the height, has the highest rate of heart, high blood pressure, heart disease, and repetition. All right. Because All right. the wage of the sin is death. Right. If we sin against the most high God, he's gonna punish you. Right. Go ahead, Art. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. Let your light. Proverbs 16.3. The Bible says, let your light shine before men. You're not supposed to be ashamed of this gospel. Gospel means good news. We're out here to bring our people the good news of the, of the Bible. The good news that you are God's chosen people. He only loves you. The Most High God does not love every nation. Right. The Most High God hates these other nations and loves you. Right. But right. he must punish you because you transgressed his laws. Go ahead, Ops. Proverbs 6.23. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. For the commandment is the lamp, and the law is light. And the law is the light. If I was to walk around here and I didn't have my fringes on, Numbers 15, 38. If I was to walk around and I didn't have my fringes on, you would not know we are to be set apart and different from these other people. If I did not have my fringes on, you would not know that I was different from these other brothers out here who don't know who they are. Right. Who still call themselves African Americans right. or niggas. Or real niggas, or bad bitches. Right, 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 How in the hell right. you downgrade yourself? We kings and queens. We God's children. Right, right. How the hell are you gonna call yourself a real nigga? All praise to the Most High. Go ahead, huh? Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. 
Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak to everybody. Speak to the children of Israel. If you read this throughout this whole Bible, it only speaks to a certain people, the children of Israel. That's right. Jacob had 12 sons. We are 12 patriarchs of the Most High God. I mean, of, of uh, Israel. Go ahead, huh? Speak to the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. Throughout their generation. So as long as we generate and having babies here, you're supposed to have fringes on the bottom of your, of your uh, dress coat, on the bottom of your shirts. Your women's supposed to have on fringes on the bottom of her dresses. Women ain't supposed to be wearing pants out here. Right, right. But y'all right, too busy right, want to look right. like your damn enemy, the white man. That's the damn right, enemy. God right. gave us enemies. Right. And I see y'all got a whole bunch of gentrification going on over here. Yeah. They going to take it over. Y'all used to fight over a block. They moved in. They ain't shot one shot and got y'all block over here. That's right. All right. praise right. to the most high God. Go ahead, huh? And it shall be, wait, throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. If y'all see me and my brothers up here and the sister up here, we got fringes with borders of blue on them. That's a commandment. God didn't ask us to do it. He, he commanded us to do it throughout your generation. That means as long as you're walking on this earth, you're supposed to have your fringes on your garments. Now, this is why we have them. Go ahead, huh? And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Now, think about it. Remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. But the, most, but the pastor said the laws are done away with. And do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which ye used to go a whoring. The Most High God calls us whores because if we go and follow any other God or any other religion, we are committing holding to the Most High God. Right. God does not miss his words. If your wife that's married to you go out and cheats with another man, you will call that woman a whore. God does not miss his words. So we are whoring to the Most High God when we go and when we go uh, celebrate a, a bow down to Jesus, a bow down to the cobblestone, a, a, a celebrate birthdays, a celebrate Christmas. There's nowhere in the Bible that shows that says Christmas. There's no Christmas in the Bible. The Bible says the Gentiles sacrifice the thing, sacrifice the devils. Those are not our gods. God gave you, God gave all these other nations a God, but he chose you. All praise to the Most High God. My people don't know how powerful, how strong we are. You so-called African Americans, you from the tribe of Judah, the Southern Kingdom. We got our brothers Ephraim out here, Zebulon. Those are our brothers. We got the Mexicans. That's the tribe of Issachar. We are we gonna be 144 strong in this earth, and we gonna come take this kingdom. Right. This our world. The white man in number of the out here, he gonna get dealt with. All praise. Isaiah, 51, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. The Bible says, cry aloud. Spare not. Spare not. We ain't spare no feelings out here. We're going to start cutting you in a second. We ain't spare nobody feelings. We don't care if your feelings get hurt out here. When your feelings get hurt, that means your soul is being convicted. If you come to church and you and you wicked as hell and you leave that church feeling good, that pastor ain't did his job. Right. Right, right. That pastor has not did his job. Right. Ain't no way in the hell you gonna come to you gonna, if I go to the hospital sick and I leave out the hospital sick, that damn doctor ain't did his job. Oh praise. Go ahead, up. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people. Their transgressions. The Most High God says, show my people their transgressions. And the house of Jacob, their sins. In the house of Jacob, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, their sins. Their sins. And that's what we are here to do. That's where we got this loud speaker. When the speaker go out, we got a bullhorn because we lifting up our voices today. All praise to the Most High God. And we're going to show our people their transgressions. Where your past at? We don't have no bucket or no collection plate out here. We don't want no money. We work. We are here to show our people their transgressions. We are here in the streets. We got to come to the streets where our people are at. Because y'all ain't going to go to the church. The church has turned a lot of our people off. 
because they full of lies. Malachi 2 and 1. They full of lies. One lie that the damn pastor tell you that God